So we have a, a 2012 International Durastar. We have a water pump leak. There's the water pump leak. Well, first, to determine the water pump leak, you would undo this cap, put on a pressure tester, put pressure in it, and find your leak. But obviously, I have a leak at the water pump. So I'm gonna show you how to replace a water pump. First thing we're gonna do is take off this uh, wheel well. We got one, two, three, four, four bolts, uh, 13 millimeter head. All right, we got the wheel well off. Um, now we're gonna take off this belt. You need a half inch drive ratchet. You put it on that idler right there and you'll take off that belt. Just keep in mind how the belt is routed so you're not uh, having a headache when you put, put the belt back on. So next what you're gonna do is um, drain the coolant. You're gonna find your pit cock on this one. It was right there. It wasn't really a pit cock, it was a... Uh, this quick coupler right here, so I just took it off. Let all the coolant drain out. And then we can start taking apart the water pump. So now what I did is uh, disconnect this, this intake tube right here. Just to get, give me a little bit more room to get in there and get that water pump off. Now I'm gonna take off this bracket right here. There's a 13 millimeter head bolt right here and looks like there's two bolts on this side. So we're gonna take that bracket off. Take it off. Now we're gonna start taking off uh, all the bolts that are holding the uh, this here water pump. Um, there's one right here. That's a half inch. And then we got maybe four more 10 millimeter bolts all the way around it. Here's the pattern. So one half inch and the rest are gonna be 10 millimeter. All right, we got the old pump off. This is it right here. That's our new one. Now we're gonna um, do the best we can at uh, cleaning that uh, that mating surface right there. I'm gonna use some bright clean and uh, maybe some SOS pads or something like that and scrub it up, get it nice and clean. So when you put it on, you don't have a leak. And this one, the, uh, the bearing was failing and that's where it started uh, leaking out. Now what you wanna do is take off these four bolts, take off this pulley, you'll mount the pulley on your new pump and then you'll start putting your pump back in. So take off these four eight millimeter head bolts. All right, after you get your new uh, water pump installed, fill up your coolant, put a pressure tester on it. Uh, let it sit there and pressure test. Look around for leaks, make sure you ain't got no more leak. And after that, you can start putting the belt back on and putting your brackets back on and uh, button it all up. And that's how you replace a water pump on an international.